Yeah, welcome back to VRS Bears Rod Shop uh, here for the uh, February the 23rd and uh, doing a little uh, follow up. You'll have to excuse my voice. Uh, I've been in the hospital. I went into ER on Saturday about 11 o'clock, admitted to ICU there uh, almost immediately. I mean, within 45 minutes. I was in the ICU. Uh, developed a bad, huge, uh, we're gonna go over to this sheet right here real quick, uh, ulcer. And here we are right here. This thing is 30 millimeter in diameter. Let's call it, uh, you know, inch and three eighths, uh, almost inch and a half. 30 millimeter in diameter. Now these are recent pictures just from this past weekend. And uh, we're gonna go into uh, here at the lower third. They took a biopsy. And this morning I got that call that, uh, yeah, it's cancer again. And I wouldn't have thought it'd come back quite this quick. Now, don't mean we're throwing the towel in. No. Absolutely not. It's a little bit of an offset. Uh, this ulcer come on real quick and figured that it was from visiting with the GI doctor and uh, the, uh, his uh, nurse practitioner a little bit in the hospital and stuff. And, uh, you know, uh, we didn't call it uh, acidic acid or, you know, but... Uh, under a lot of stress from that car wreck. And uh, that is, after all that chemo and radiation, everything in, in the throat is real tender. So it didn't take much to let that cancer, it could have been when Mr. Page on the 28th says, man, those are like the size of a number two pencil. You know, we're talking, here's a, ballpoint pen just a little bit bigger than this so we're less than probably uh point uh two not two millimeter but point two millimeter you know it was like a speck and uh they did not pick up on the pet scan as being glowing you know that's what it does the sugar goes in there but something triggered it and uh Man, I tell you what, by Wednesday of last week on about the 14th, 15th, I started getting dizzy spells. And you can tell my color is not real good. But I lost, uh, well, I may have lost more than that, but they put four pints of blood in me there uh, on uh, Sunday. S yeah, Sunday. And... Uh, that's a lot of blood. The most I've ever had before, when I was down to a 5.7 hemoglobin was three, I was down to a 4.7. This, this one here, almost 4.6. Uh, and so, man, I tell you what, I felt like my heart rate, I could hear it in my ears. I could hear my heart actually beating is I, you know, went about my chores, tried to read, watch television. I'd go out, go out on the porch to feed the cat, and I almost teetered over on my face. And that was when I called my boy on Saturday about 1030. I said, get me now. Get me to ER. Dad's, had, Dad's got trouble. And so we did. Uh, this is the old picture now, right here is the lower third of the esophagus. And, I, you know, this thing was terrible. This is all closed in. And that scope uh, had a hard time way back there, the small scope. And, of course, the 30 millimeter that had the ultrasound on wouldn't go through this area. But this is the area right here. And third lower esophagus. It's a lot better shape 
but you can see already it's starting to close in, darken up, and this right in here is where they took the biopsies. A little bit of bleeding going on there, but uh, anyhow, I got that call this morning about nine o'clock, and uh, so back to oncology, and we're gonna be fighting and fighting and fighting. Uh, let's get off on some good stickers here. I uh, reached out to uh, Keith Ferner uh, over at uh, Turn Right Machine Works. Got some really nice three of his stickers, four actually, of his stickers. Turn Right. If you're not subscribed to Keith, I, I've been subscribing since 2000, I think in 19, early 20, and uh, haven't been following him as much as I used to. Love this one, man. This one goes right with the Harley Davidson shirt. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Harley Davidson. And uh, and here's Sammy who always says, get it done, dear. I never even saw, here's one of his stickers right here, get it done. Well, see, here's, here's that favorite saying everybody knows that I always say. Sammy says, get it done, dear. Well, now... She's got her own sticker. Thanks, Keith. A great shout out to you and uh, enjoy your channel. And uh, especially that last one where we had that much stick out with that big old uh, pipe flange uh, fixture out there where you took off just an eighth of an inch. Now that was, you know, a massive bunch of weight, you know. Now I feel I, I would be comfortable after watching you do that to do some fixturing that far out on my four jaw. You did it on a three jaw. So anyhow, that's the uh, update here on the cancer. And uh, Maddie, I know you're you know you've got your clean bill of health over. There. Whatever you're doing, just keep on doing it. Uh, Bear's not giving up on this. And uh, please hit that subscribe. Hit that like button. We need all the support we can get. We're getting close to that 600 mark and we're gonna to put together one of those uh, John Deere pieces when we reach the 600. And April the 8th is gonna be when that eclipse comes and it's gonna go right across. The, it's gonna miss us here in Texas above us by Wichita Falls, the full eclipse but it's gonna go right directly across where my daughter and uh, family has moved up to Arkansas at Hackett, Arkansas. They're dead center. So I'm gonna be there for not only giving Hunter his toolbox, the Craftsman, that is a, four, a 520 uh, clone. I mean, they had uh, Kennedy make that box. Y'all seen that video with tools, and then also his birthday is on the 6th, 5th or 6th. So I'm gonna go up there and uh, spend some time. I'm gonna try to go off up there. There's a big, nice lake and go fishing. Might even go over, because they're so close to Oklahoma, and go to Dale Starborough's museum. If I do, I will get with Dale, and we will do a tour and a video of that we go way back to 2005. I took a banjo car, a uh, very rare kit car, number four of only C. Yeah, four of number of six ever built. And uh, so, anyhow, uh, prayers and everything. Uh, I appreciate them. I really do, and I'm gonna need them. And you can tell I, I'm down now that I'm about 176 pounds. And so starting to lose a lot more weight. But please again, hit that like, subscribe, share. And uh, I, I think of all those out there with cancer uh, and uh, either their family members with cancer. And let's uh, keep uh, pulling together. I don't do as much as I said I was going to on smartpatients.com. Uh, I find that some of that stuff is so taxing and I don't feel I'm giving good support. And when I mentioned what I use, 
I get a lot of negative feedback. Uh, you know, everybody wants to follow doctors, uh, medication and duos that, you know, you know, go off on to, uh, for benzes, all things like that. Uh, they feel like, well, it, it don't work. I may just, uh, kind of pull back from that. So bears ride shop. We're out of here and, uh, everybody have a uh, wonderful spring right around the corner and enjoy, uh, family. We're out. Hey, uh, uh, February uh, 16, 18, 18. Sunday. All right, we're in the ICU. Yeah. And we have ICU nurse. You, come on, you gotta say your name. Cynthia. 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 No, no last name. No Patsy. Uh -huh. Anesthesia Amy. All right. Woo. You did a good job. Cheese. He did great. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You bet.